Good morning. I tell you what, I thought, why am I always rushing? I thought I wasn't gonna be in the mood for holiday. And let me tell you, I've never been more excited. Never been more unprepared, but never been more excited. Today is Wednesday. I'm just on my way to PT. Let me talk to you a little bit about the productive princess, that is I. <laughs> so in my last vlog if you've watched it not my last video but my last vlog you'll see that i was starting time blocking well let me tell you i'm five six seven eight this is my ninth day and it's pretty fantastic if you would like me to do a video on like how i do my morning or like a productive day in the life or whatever, then I'm happy to film that if that's something you would like. I'm just very aware of the uh, girl boss mentality that comes with that. Like, yeah, get up at 5 a.m. Some people don't want to. Some people don't want to get up at 5 a.m. I'm naturally a morning person, so that it's like not, it's non-negotiable for me to get up in the morning. It's also non-negotiable for me to sleep past half past eight at night. So you can't have it all. But yeah, I wouldn't make it all like, girl boss, yeah, matcha, matcha, matcha. I hate matcha. So yeah, let me know if that's something you would like to see and I can like fully take you through how I do it. I'm not a pro. I'm also not one of those people that puts like an immense amount of pressure on. If something on my list from that day doesn't get done, I just move it to the next list or move it to another week or something like it's really not the end of the world. So I feel like it's a realistic approach to being productive, which it sounds pretty much like something I've been searching for my whole fucking life. We are going on holiday on Friday. So the next vlog you see will be um, a Sicily vlog, like honeymoon part one, I think. But I thought today we could do a pack with me style video. I'm gonna sort my outfits out. I'm obviously gonna pack for Sicily. I love watching these videos. And I thought, why the hell not? I've been editing my Skims haul. If you've seen that, let me know what you thought. If you haven't, let me know what you thought when you go and watch it now because I've asked you to. This is heavy. Is it? Oh my Christ! Don't twist! <laughs> this is the worst thing I've ever done. Band off, do it without the band. Get rid of it, get rid of it. Depth, 20. You're gonna do it without the band. Again? Yeah. Did Oh my god, my arms are gonna fall off. Yeah. Whoa, I'm gonna take my hair. <laughs> I'm just having something to eat. I haven't eaten anything today, so I'm gonna just warm up something from dinner last night. I actually made one of my favorite dishes called fasolagi, which is a Greek Cypriot dish. Well, I think it's Greek Cypriot. I learned it from my AR. It's like potatoes, green beans, and like a tomato sauce. I just opened the fridge to try and decide what to have for breakfast, but obviously we've got like quite, <laughs> My hand. We're quite low on food because obviously we're going away. And then I thought, why can't I have that for breakfast? Put a bit of feta on it. Nothing wrong with that, is there? I've been to the gym, need some refueling. So I'm gonna have some of that. I've just finished all of my work. I've got to just do my emails, set my out of office on, and then I'll go pack. Oh, I really wanted to put some fake tan on. I just feel so like, I haven't seen the sun, that's gonna change. It's like this, it looks gross. Um, and then I'm just gonna sprinkle some feta on top, a bit of protein. I mean, really I should have a protein shake because I'm absolutely starving, but this is what I fancy. So I'm just going for that. I'll have a protein shake later. Delicious. A little bit of pepper. I'm trying not to get stressed, but it's hard not to get stressed when 
I have now one afternoon to pack. I feel like my emails have just literally been on crack this morning. They've not stopped. That skims order took me so long to sort out, to send off. And I get really stressed by stuff like that because I can't, if I know I'm not doing something right, I'm like, I don't know, I just got so stressed. Anyway, random. Our wedding photographer sent through some um, of our images in like this lovely box. And he sent these through. Oh my God, if you can get them. I don't know where they'd be sold, but they're honestly unbelievable. Cherries, cranberries, and blueberries covered in dark chocolate. Honestly, so delicious. It's now one o'clock. I still haven't showered from the gym, so that is disgusting. I've not had a sip of water all day. Okay, I've had a sip of water. I'm gonna give myself until 1.30. I'm gonna give myself half an hour to bash out my emails, set me out of office, and then we're going upstairs to pack. You know what? Done. Boop. It's been a little bit of a day, I'm not gonna lie, and I think I jinxed myself by talking about how productivity has changed my life this morning. Because let me tell you, today just has felt like I've not been able to catch my tail. It's 20 past three, and when I, like, I still haven't packed anything, nothing. So I have a massive pile of clothes to put away. I'm gonna start with that. One thing is, this is probably the first time in my life I have ever packed to go on holiday in a beautifully clean, clear space. The hills are alive with the sound of packing. Ah. I've also had a shower, believe it or not, but I've just chucked my hair up, done my skincare, got a t shirt on, put some pajamas on, and some fluffy socks. Blink twice if you've lost it. <laughs> Blink three times. I've actually done is just pulled out clothes that I know fit me that would work on holiday because this looks like an obscene amount for 10 days so I'm now thinking maybe I need to try some stuff on to like decide if I would even wear it do you know what I mean and like what I would wear it with okay this is a cute dress from Abercrombie that I've not worn yet and I'm thinking with these shoes this could work for like an evening outfit I ordered this dress from Lorna Lux's last collection but i just feel like it's not right for this holiday it's cute though isn't it maybe like if we go to vegas this would be a good vegas dress also does not go with these shoes just put this together these little black shorts from karen millen and this really old top from zara zara sandals how cute is this i wish these were in black these shoes you can't really see them that well i feel like if i like they'd look better in black but this top would also go with my long black linen trousers as well i think i'm done on evening outfits if i'm being honest and here's stuff like this blue top i absolutely love but it just doesn't go with anything that i've got please tell me it's not just me oh my god my mustache or what looks like a mustache like an actual shadow or maybe it is just me but this happens every time i'm going on holiday the day before i'm going when shock i've left it to the last minute's pack okay technically not because i'm in london tomorrow but still tomorrow leaves me with no option whereas today is technically my last day i've had maybe six months um i feel so stressed my house feels like a state i feel like everything's unorganized anyway i'm gonna cook some dinner I have laid out all of my clothes, so technically all I have to do is underwear, pyjamas, swimwear, and then I can do toiletries and stuff. So I will get it done tonight, but... oh, Because we're going away as well, I try and use up everything in the fridge. So I'm going to blitz some tomatoes, garlic. Oh, actually, I, might, I could have roasted them, that would have been nicer, but didn't have time today so i might boil the pepper and then bit then blitz the boiled pepper with fresh chili garlic all the all the tomatoes i need to use up 
then make it like a spicy tomato sauce, add mushrooms, pasta. Easy, it's just like the easiest last day food to make. Add a little bit of this and do your paste. Also, I don't know why I'm cooking pasta and about to go to Italy, but whatever. I mean, I haven't tasted it yet, but I've done very similar things before. You would never believe that that was made from like the dregs of the fridge. Maybe you would actually, but trust me. Trust me. Are you coming with me? This is currently my carnage. Have you got a podcast in? <gasps> I can see Christmas bubbles. You see them glistening in the far distance. Are you, are you listening to anything I'm saying? Or have you got earphones in? Got earphones in. Brilliant. What have you got? Daddy made you a bed by the side of our bed, didn't he? Yes. He's so lovely to you. And as a lully boy, you're gonna know as soon as we get the suitcases down what's happening. This is my new, newly organized makeup drawers. These are all like new products. I can see everything and that is what makes the biggest difference. I have to admit, packing from an organized state has been life-changing. Okay, that looks like a lot of makeup, but for me, it's not actually that much and I'm convinced it's gonna fit in here. Eyeshadow palettes. I am taking Mario Beloved, like literally can't be without this. This is like my old school bridal palette from NARS. Um, it's called Skin Deep. Do I need that? That's a little bit. I don't think I need that, do I? Probably not. And then I've got this blush one from NARS just to top up blushes. My brow gel of base products. I've just got a mini flawless filter and my by terry cc cream because i know i'll use that a lot okay foundations i've gone for the charlotte tilbury beautiful skin but i've got two colors because i feel like if i tan i'm gonna need my darker shade my chanel fresh water tint obsessed and then i also thought i'll take the stick hourglass vanish vanish stick foundation to try that do i need that yeah why not and i've got a mini fix plus spray and a tiny bit left of the airbrush flawless setting spray but that will probably last day. Bronzers I've got my Charlotte Tilbury and my Refi cream. The Vive Eye ones in the shade Sand Old Gold Coffee Solar Bronze and Camel. Mascaras I've got a brown one, a black, well it's a brown L'Oreal one, a black Chanel one and then my bottom lash MAC one. Blush, I've got two, the Rare Beauty, this one is Joy, this one is Hope, so like a peachy and a pinky. The concealers I'm taking, my Maybelline Under Eye, the Dior one for like coverage, and the new Flawless, no, nothing Flawless about it, the new Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer, the Vive Liquid Eyeliner, all three of my Mario eyeliners, this Refi cream highlighter in the shade topaz which is my new favorite a little mini laura mercier setting powder this hourglass ambient palette ambient light in palette yeah love that this by mario like crystal reflector this is so beautiful you can see it there honestly unreal my little under eye corrector contour balm then lip liners i've gone for two nude one pinky one red a mixture of like vive mac Dior and Rimmel. Lipsticks, I've got three Vive ones in the shade 
Promise Pinch Cherubs Kiss, MAC Ruby Woo and Lady Danger, which is my holiday red, like I mix them together. Honey Love and Reverence. This Fenty Gloss Bomb in the shade Fussy. Pillow Talk Medium and a Happy Coral lip kiss thing. If anyone's been around long enough, this was my very first Charlotte Tilbury ad that I did on Instagram. <laughs> Are you a roller or are you a folder? I used to be a folder, now I'm a roller. T-shirts, a gray, a black and a white. These are all my crop tops. I tend to actually wear crop tops more than anything lately. These are all like old from Zara. Like I've got this one in black and white, which I love. This one's also from Zara quite recently. I've worn it quite a lot to be fair. It's really cute. Holding it up like that, you're like, how is that possible? And then this is actually my favourite crop ever, and it's a cut-up t-shirt from H&M, but I wear that a lot. So tomorrow my train is at 8, and it get I get back at about 10, and we're flying the next day at 6, so our, our taxi's picking us up at 3am. That's why my only option is to pack now. So I'm taking my Abercrombie ones, which... I do absolutely love. I think I would like to get one more style next year though because these are like the dad style ones and I'd like something a bit like more straight. They go out a little bit. Taking four shirts, white linen, cobalt blue linen, pink, not linen but a nice material, brown linen. This is one of my favourite purchases I think I've ever made. I got this from Zara about three years ago. It's like this knitted I don't know what you'd call it. Okay, my battery just died, but all I added in here was a little workout outfit and my blazer. And it's all fit in beautifully. In fact, there is even some space. Actually, I could po probably put my swimwear in there as well, you know. Swimwear. I got sent this bikini from Bravissimo. Probably, like, up there with the best bikini I think I've ever had. It fits me like an absolute dream. So packing that one. Then they also sent me... This polka dot one, similar shape, high waist, high leg. But then this top has like little puff sleeves. How cute is that? Then I'm taking my M&S bottoms, a plain black bikini top, my gold S blue one, which I could not be without. Although I feel like I need the size down in the bottoms. And then just a swimsuit. Uh, this is from M&S because I want to do some lengths. I'm looking about these quite a lot, but these thongs from M&S are my absolute favourite. That bit's so wide. So I need to go and get some more of them tomorrow because I've only got five here and I don't think there's any in the wash. And I definitely need a pair for tomorrow. Still obsessed with this dress. I love it. It's not that great quality. Well, because it's from Boohoo. This is the first holiday I've not bought any new clothes for. I did buy quite a lot for the wedding though, so I feel like I didn't really need anything. This is another dress that I got just before the wedding from Matalan with a slit at the middle. This gingham one, another old but gold. I think I've always been a bit of a sustainable queen, you know. I've never really been like, only because I've not been into fashion, but I've never like bought loads and loads of clothes all the time. So indirectly a sustainable queen. This is another dress that I didn't get to wear but packed for Sicily and I absolutely love it. Again, it's boohoo so it's quite shit but like black with these huge red flowers on but it looks really nice on like a beautiful shape my trusty red abercrombie dress i just don't think there will ever be an occasion where this won't work for it so she's coming i don't know if my pj selection is excessive i've got this set from primark again before the wedding but didn't wear it a short and shirt set this little green set again from primark this set i wore on my wedding morning again from Primark and then I thought I'd best take some long sleeve these are my Chelsea Pears ones which I absolutely love hair care or hair wise I'm just taking my hair straighteners ow curlyish like curly products so I can wear it curly and then my slick stuff because this is done with straighteners and then combed out I feel like it's easier than taking my whole air up and stuff all my jewellery in this Audrey Layton pouch if you don't follow her on Instagram, hands down one of my favourite people on this earth and I've never even fully met her before. And pads, because I'm due to start my period when we're out there, which is this. Okay, skincare. And then 
I think that's everything. First of all, I have been loving these face halo pads to remove makeup. I still use makeup removing stuff, but I'm actually preferring these to a flannel at the moment, so I'm taking those. My moisturiser is the Clarins Body Firming one. Vita Liberata Body Blur with a new mitt. Best product ever. Perfume I'm taking is the Aqua de Palma. This was my wedding day perfume as well, so I feel like take it. My deodorant. My Skin Me Daily Doses. I packed a few masks, an eye one, and then two moisturising sheet masks. This one from Beauty Pie is honestly one of my favourites. The Japan Fusion 10 Minute Miracle Sheet Mask. My favy SPF at the moment is the Beauty Pie one. LMS Kefir Spray. I've got two moisturisers. One, I use this one at night. It's the Waleda Skin Food Light, and then the Embryolise one for the morning. Just These are really good, like, travel-sized tubes japan fusion is my melt off cleanser love it and then i have this glossier waterproof eye makeup remover oh i need to get some pads second cleanser i've got my clarins cleansing milk a little baby philip kingsley shampoo and conditioner i love taking these perfumes on holiday these are the little joe malone ones i just think then it's like a nice way of having a different scent what ones did I pick? Orange butterflies, smoked plum and leather, and then white rose and lemon leaves. I felt like they were all Sicilian appropriate. And then my diptyque Philosikos, Philosikos roll on one again. So I've got like an option of five different scents there without taking five full bottles. This is my Estrid razor head, but I'm not gonna pack it yet because I need to use that in the morning, the one that's in the shower. A mini Soho skin shave gel. Also a mini toothpaste and my gua sha stones which i never fucking use i think that's like pretty much everything can you believe all of that fits perfectly in there it's quite good isn't it i feel like i've not overdone it on toiletries this year just saying david yeah. do you want to come and weigh my suitcase Twenty-five, nearly. No way. Yeah, we. How much is yours? Twenty-two. Oh fuck! I've not even got my makeup in there yet. It is about three hundred hours past my bedtime, but I fake tanned, and I would say I am ninety percent packed. <sighs> hey, darling. I just used to do all of my electrical stuff and pop my makeup bag in the thing. But we have just hit 3,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is really exciting. So thank you for that. I've got to celebrate all these little milestones. I am gonna go to sleep now because 10, 44, quarter to 11. I'm gonna sleep by half past nine. As always, thank you so much for your love. Thank you so much for your support. See you in Sicily.